So welcome very much, Ambassador Malen, to the UN city. I know you have been here, but I think it's the first time since the COVID-19 that you're coming it's, here. Yes, it's changed a lot, really. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine looking yeah, around. Yeah. And to discuss a topic very close to my heart, very close to the heart of WHO, global health priority, the topic of AMR. Mm -hmm. That obviously we are very, very concerned. We don't want to lose the strong antibiotics we have since a century. It's also a huge economic cost, we know this. I believe their data that the economic cost could be as much as what happened since the financial crisis in 2008. And of course, a big obstacle towards reaching the sustainable development goals. So I'm really interested to know your perspectives. What is your, let's say, greatest concern, greatest challenge on the AMR here? I think, as you say, it both has the, the direct costs, the economical costs. We also see recent studies show that there are um, recently five million deaths per year True. associated yes. with AMR. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a huge issue. Um, what I would say is, it's such a vague concept. AMR is not known to people. So as long as we don't have this awareness, the engagement we will have trouble with implementing the preventive work that we need to do so antibiotics are it's a basis for any basic health services but it's also a prerequisite for the modern medicine that we have today uh, so to me both the, the essential and the innovative medicines yes exactly yes, yeah. i mean both safe deliveries pneumonias need to be treated by effective antibiotics that we can rely on but also for example cancer treatment you become very sensitive to infections and unless we can rely on right. access to antibiotics to both prevent and treat these infections these kind of treatments have become really risky so what i would say is maybe we need to reframe the concept of amr a little bit talk less about um, counteracting resistance and talk more about the ultimate goal which should be to have reliable and equitable access to effective antibiotics. 